Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Hunter where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I'm not a financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So with that said, we're looking at Decentralized United. Um, they did have a successful, you know, pre-sale and raise, you know, pink sale. And they have launched, so this is a launched token. Um, they just recently, you know, made uh, coin market cap, you know, so we can see their page here. Uh, we can see that they've got a flag here in regards, you know, to uh, the contract. Smart contract to the following asset can be modified by the contract creator. For example, disable selling, change fees, mint, to, mint new tokens, or transfer tokens. Now, um, I did take a look, you know, at the audit, you know, as far as this token is concerned. Um, it did pass, you know, with some issues, you know, but the only issue um, was found to be a medium severity issue where the owner can exclude accounts from rewards. So I am not seeing the issues that Coin Market Cap unit you know, is flagging on this one. You know, so um, so yeah, I mean, I'm just not seeing that. Now um, beyond that, they also have a KYC unit you know, that was done uh, for this project. You know, so they are KYC'd. Um, you know, the team's photo docs, you know, as well. But beyond that, I'm not really seeing, you know, other issues going on with the token. We got a white paper here, so make sure that you definitely take a look at that. And, uh, you know, if you go to their, you know, audit, um, you, know, you can also see the link here, you know, for, uh, for the audit. So, I remember, okay, yeah, it didn't go through. Okay. But, yeah, if you want to see just the findings of the audit, you can certainly click, you know, this link to go ahead and see that. And then looking at, you know, their chart, they're just over a million on the market cap. So we can see really right after they launched, and this is the thing about pre-sales, guys. Sometimes when you get into these pre-sales, and this was a fair launch, I believe, um, you know, they can they'll spike up a little bit, you know, but you can see everybody dumped this thing all the way down. I mean, just it's just terrible. Um, you know, just spreading it out a little bit. But, yeah, you can see the huge dump. And then they, they spiked back up and then just dumped it. You know, again, so then we see here, you know, where they started to build some back some resistance again and, um, you know, came back down a little bit up, came back down and then they made they made some gains today on the chart. Once they listed, you know, part of this, what you're seeing here is from the boost that they got from CMC. And then, you know, they got up here and then people just started to go ahead and sell it off again. So this is probably more of a consolidation point at this point. All right, but that takes us through the chart. Um, heading back over to the main page, we can see calling themselves the visionary token of the future, a new smart chain uh, based project with unique utilities. Invest smarter with Decentralized United. And then we see Smart Swap, Smart Swap and Enon Bridge. Tokens launched, you know, for a launch distribution. They can really get rid of this. In the latest news, you can see some of these videos. And so here, this was, I mean, they, they raised over 1,000, almost 1,100 BNB, you know, in the fair launch. So it was a successful raise for sure. Um, we can see, you know, some socials, you know, there. Partners, you know, what's special about DCU, unique use cases. Uh, they aim to create an ecosystem of utilities that could revolutionize, revolutionize DeFi, along with DCU Smart Swap, which gives a unique opportunity for users to receive crypto cash back when using the swap. Decentralized United will bring a number of amazing utilities, some of which are unique for the crypto space. The swap, uh, root layer yielding, anonymous bridge, liquid jackpots, online concedo, and lottering. There, those are just a small number of use cases that DCU will have. They'll have more and more utilities added to the ecosystem, which will make it a one-stop shop for all of your DeFi needs. And they give you some information on some of those, you know, uh, interesting use cases. Sorry about the overscrolling. Uh, Decentralized United, you know, why choose them? The secure, the anonymous, you know, it's, um, synchronization. Um, you know, we see they've got international reach, you know, as well. And on the buy and sell side, you're know, looking at low tax, 5% each way. Um, we're seeing $2 billion on the total supply, you know, and, another, and, and some other data points associated, you know, with their tokenomics. And then taking a look at their roadmap. So right away we can see that they're checking things off, okay, which means they're staying connected to the roadmap. We want to see that. We need to see more projects doing that. So Trust Wallet logo is supposed to be coming centralized exchange listing 
Um, and since you know they are listed on CMC now, if this was something that anybody was holding in their wallet, you know, um, they would have been able to see that price tracking, you know, in uh, in the in the wallet now. So looking at Q4, we're looking at uh, Smart Swap V2, uh, second uh, iteration of the website, partnership with various Telegram communities, a marketing push, and a staking platform. And then in first quarter of 2023. We are seeing uh, CMC and CG listings. Now, what is this for? That I couldn't tell you, uh, since their native tokens are already launched. Uh, centralized listings for Tier 2 and Tier 1, and DCU root layer yielding, the NFTs, the marketplace, the wallet, and Phase 1 DCU blockchain review. And then here in second quarter of 2023, indicating TVA. So that means that they're going to be adding more. At least that's the signal that it provides to me. So um, definitely see some good things, you know, going on in terms of the roadmap. And I like the fact that checking things off, you know, so it would be good to add an additional signal here. Just, you know, letting us know exactly where they are in terms of development of the, you know, the project or maybe with some of their utilities. So uh, we see a Photodocs team, you know, as I mentioned, or I think I mentioned it before. Um, and as we already know, these guys are KYC'd already. So, all right, and that takes us pretty much to the end of the site. You know, like I said, it's a launch project. Here's the chart. You'll have all that information, you know, uh, that I'll leave for you in the description you know, of the video. So, all right, guys, that'll do it for me on this one. Uh, if you have any, any thoughts or comments, make sure to leave uh, those comments in the uh, comments section. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video and keeping up with the content that I'm releasing on the channel. If you guys are learning anything, please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And, uh, you know, help me continue to grow the channel, you know, by sharing the channel with others and by uh, continuing to engage with the content as you guys always do. Thanks so much. And with that said, you all enjoy the day.